Hi guys, this is the new dashboard for WordPress 2.7. Looks a lot different from what you're used to, I would imagine. I'm finding it a little bit um, unsettling navigating my way around to it because I'm not used to it. Um, before you install WordPress 2.7, what I suggest that you do is uh, make a subdomain on one of your sites and set it up over there with the themes and the plugins that you normally use just to test that all is working okay. Not all theme designers and plugins will have upgraded for 2.7 just yet because usually it's uh, pointless until you get the core WordPress 2.7 otherwise they have to continually go back and change things. Okay, so when we're in the dashboard we've got a new feature here, it's called Quick Press so it just means that you can quickly type up a post on the fly without going to your main page for posts. What I actually don't like about this feature is that there's no way to choose a category. So all your posts will end up in the uncategorized basket. But, you know, it's still a useful feature. The other feature of this is the Ajax listing. So you can just use these little buttons here to make your interface cleaner, if you like. Um, so that's that's nice if you're not interested in all of those sorts of things and you just want a really clean dashboard. There's a few other features uh, that I don't like. Um, the first one is in previous versions of WordPress we've always been able to um, choose a page from our settings tab um, to have as our front page of our site or a post. In the reading settings now we can choose number of posts just like we could always but there's no way to choose a front page for your static site. There is a way of choosing a post on your front page by just using the inbuilt WordPress sticky that's now with uh, WordPress 2.7 meaning you can stick a post to the front page of your blog So if I go in here and add a new post, our visual and text editor are still the same and everything is still the same. It's just got a new interface and there's been a couple of features added and a couple seem to have gone astray, like the sticking the front page onto the site. Um, if we want to do that as a post, we can just go into here into the publish, click the edit button, sorry, the visibility button and check the little box that says stick this to the front page and click publish and that will stick a post to the front page but there's not a similar option for a page so if I go down here and find where they've put page and if we look at the page function it's still the same and you can still choose your templates and choose your page order add your custom fields etc but we don't have that same option of sticking the front page to the to the front of our websites which to me is a real loss um, because I often stick a page rather than a post on the front of my sites so hopefully someone will be um, either adding a plug-in or fixing up that sort of little bug but there are some features that I think you're going to really like for one thing, there's not going to be a hassle with upgrading your WordPress install anymore. You simply go to the Tools menu down here and click Upgrade and you'll come here. So since I installed WordPress 2.7 yesterday, there's already been one upgrade yesterday and there's another one today. You should of course back up your database, but I've got absolutely nothing on this test site. So I'm just going to click the button here to upgrade automatically and you'll see how easy this is it's just going through the process it's got the last night's build on it and it's already upgraded and we've got the success message so that was really painless the other cool feature is with the plugins and if we want to add a new plugin we can just click the add new button here and we can either search the WordPress database for a plugin that we might like to use, upload one, so instead of using one click plugin, we can just upload from our desktop, or we can have a look at what the newest plugins are, featured plugins, etc., by just using this handy menu up here that they've got for 
um, plugin. So say I want to use this plugin, I just click here, click install and we'll watch that at work. It's installing away, it tells me what it is and we'll just click that install now button and away we go. So no more downloading stuff to your desktop and it means that your WordPress install will be more up to date because it's just making it so easy for you to upgrade. Now I'd like to tell you that they've got the same feature for themes but they don't to upgrade our themes quite as easily. The other um, features that they've got, they're really just the same the other thing is that all your menus here are all Ajaxed, so if you want a really clean interface, you you just um, pull the Ajax menu up by clicking on the buttons. Now they've changed the words of things as well. Um, so now we've got appearance, which is design, plugins is plugins, users is users, and tools is uh, things like importing, exporting, and upgrading. You've also got a quick menu up the top if you just want to do a new post, a draft, a page or upload a file or something like that. So you've got two sort of options there on your dashboard to navigate around pretty quickly. Um, I think it will take a little bit of getting used to, um, especially because things seem to have changed quite a bit in the way the interface is laid out. Um, but once we're there, the Manage tab has also disappeared and now that's all done from other internal tabs. So adding a category, we just go from Posts and we add the categories. You can't add categories for pages so they've put that into the Posts section over there. Media, we've got all the new things and there's new ways of uh, inserting your images, not inserting your images, new ways of how your images can be displayed and your link categories etc are all the same. Um, the, real, the real thing that I'm missing at the moment is sticking the front page to the front of the post but I'm guessing that someone will upgrade this and then it will be a lot easier. And now with editing your pages and posts etc within those tabs you just edit it so rather than going to the manage tab you will now go to edit. Okay well that's the uh, conclusion of the tour. Um, the other thing that I did want to point out to you is that on your front dashboard you can quickly install a plugin just from the plugins incoming uh, information from WordPress without even going to the plugins folder and you can also clean up your dashboard as well by clicking this screen options button here and choosing what you actually want to display on your dashboard so if you want a really clean interface or perhaps you're um, preparing a site for somebody uh, like a business etc that's not really interested in all of these bits and pieces you can just delete um, or uncheck whichever ones that you don't want them to see by using that screen options function. And so now we've got none checked and now when we log into our dashboard it will be a very clean interface. Nothing at all. It's a bit bare. I think we might put something back on. There we go. And again they've all got the Ajax menus and you can configure that by clicking this button on the side of how you want it to look. So if you want to give different feed titles for your WordPress news etc and what you actually want to display. So for the first time ever you're really in control of your dashboard. So if we try the plugins one, we don't have the same option there to configure it. Um, same with incoming links, I'm sure we'll get an option there and we can configure that just to um, customise it more to what we want it to say and we can show that and how many items we'd like to display and what the date is etc. Anyway that's the end of the quick tour. Um, as I said be sure and set it up on a subdomain first or in a folder in a directory 
on your site just to make sure that your favourite plugins and your favourite themes are working with WordPress 2.7. And I'd also have a little bit of a play around with it before you start using it on all your main sites because it is a lot different to what we traditionally used to um, with the layout on the left over here, etc., and this quick manage tab from up the top. 